Welcome to the Islamic Center of Naperville, a vibrant hub of faith and community in the heart of Naperville. ICN is more than just a place of worship. It's a community dedicated to strengthening the bonds of faith and unity. The, the way that I see the masjid, and specifically ICN, is that it is a, a lighthouse for the Muslim community and even beyond. And so as our community grows and as our needs grow, this masjid provides us with a centering, with a grounding, with something that we can go back to. That The light that shines from it is something that brings everyone and anyone uh, back to it. And one of the ways that we do that is that as our community needs are evolving and the population is increasing, we as an organization, as an institution, have to evolve with the community to make sure that we are trying our best to meet the needs of our community members. We want to look at Islam from a holistic perspective. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu tkhulu fi silmi kaffa. O Muslims, O believers, enter into Islam completely. So alhamdulillah, we look at the religious services through our prayers, through our Quran classes, through the different khawatir, the khutbas, you know, marriages and all of these things. That's a part of us being a Muslim and a practicing Muslim. But what we want people to understand is that Islam is a complete way of life. So our different clubs, activities, programs, groups, committees, they all are there initiated and fulfilling the purpose of trying to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to each other within the framework of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Here at ICN, we've been hard at work offering a wide range of programs and services that have enriched the lives of our community members. Our Children's Committee is dedicated to organizing engaging activities for preschool and elementary school students, including story nights, exciting outings, and much more. We have a Ummahato ICN program for our seniors, both brothers and sisters, with many exciting events. We have a vibrant youth program aimed at fostering a secure and supportive environment within the masjid. ICN Youth accommodates a wide spectrum of age groups, encompassing middle school and high school boys and girls, college students, and young professionals. ICN Youth actively participates in planned service projects, health and wellness initiatives, and mental health education. ICN has the full-time school as well as the weekend school. Noor Academy is an Islamic school that offers classes such as reading, math, social studies, and science, but we also have an Islamic education curriculum which includes our Arabic and Quran program as well as Islamic studies. Alhamdulillah, this year we have been able to accommodate our um, classes with new curriculum for Islamic studies that the students seem to be enjoying, as well as um, enhancing our Quran and Arabic program. Noor Academy's enrollment has been around 60 to 80 students for the past many years, but now that our enrollment is currently at 182, uh, we are planning to go to our new facility in hopes that all the elementary classrooms will have two sections each. Uh, we are seeing a rapid growth within the Muslim community here in Naperville and we are hoping that we can inshallah expand um, to accommodate this growing need um, to have the offer of Islamic education. al Falah Academy is a weekend Islamic school with the Islamic Center of Naperville. Each Saturday we meet at Fisher Middle School and we have two class periods, Quran and Islamic Studies. This year we have around 500 students ranging from the pre-K to 9th grade levels, around 150 volunteer staff members, and within those staff members, about 40 to 50 of them are teaching assistants. The Connections program revolves around allowing our students to take their informational knowledge that they have learned in their Quran and their Islamic Studies classes and help them apply that informational knowledge to their daily lives. That is the transformational portion of our program. So we are proud to also offer a program for special needs students in partnership with Musin. I believe this program is valuable to this community because each student is receiving specifically tailored lesson plans and assignments for their Islamic education that they cannot receive in mainstream Islamic programming. Our Rahma Academy empowers native Arabic speakers to connect with their roots, keeping the language and culture alive. Al Arkham Hifth Academy ensures that people of all ages can master the Quran, providing a foundation. One of the things that we emphasize here in the community is that we have a community that is built off of knowledge. 
just as the first revelation was the revelation to read, to recite, to learn, to educate ourselves, we want to make sure that our masjid falls in line with that type of divine and prophetic command. Alhamdulillah, we have a good problem, which is that we have more demand than we have space and supply. And because of the limited facilities, we have to limit the amount of programs and activities that we can do on site. One of the goals that we have as ICN is to collaborate more with Islamic centers around the Chicagoland area. And because of the limitation of facilities, we're not able to do that as well as we want to on the ICN premises. This is where the 248 Masjid comes into play. Our vision for a brighter and more inclusive future. To see this masjid and the foundation and to see it, the walls go up and the concrete being poured and the dirt being moved, which is a big thing, right? To see all of that is us seeing a dream come and become a reality. You know, many people talk about the ICN community and they say that Alhamdulillah it's great, a lot of programs and activities, but the prayer space in the masjid doesn't feel like a masjid. So inshallah, when we have the masjid al-Nur and a ground of masjid, we can customize and cater it to the needs of our community and have it the first ground up masjid in Naperville, inshallah. There's no doubt that having this masjid, it will be, as we say in Arabic, ism ala musamma. It will be something that follows what its name is. Masjid al-Nur, to be a light for the surrounding area, for our community, for our children, and for the generations to come, inshallah. When the Prophet وسلم, and the Muslims migrated from Mecca to Medina, one of the first things that the Prophet وسلم, did was establish the masjid. Why? Because the masjid attracts people, like-minded people, that have same values, same goals, which is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of our scholars have said that the masajid are like the ship of Nuh salam. Whoever gets on it will be safe. We're dealing with a lot of challenges, but we can overcome these challenges when we stick together as a community and put our faith and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there's no better way to do that and to gather together in the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are our masajid. We have a privilege and that, that privilege is that we have the opportunity to sit here together. We have the opportunity to enjoy safety and enjoy security, to have food, to have access to the resources that we have. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing what we do with that privilege. And one of the greatest things that we can do with that privilege is to build institutions that help build the people that will serve this ummah and that will help this ummah to address the many, many issues that we have. And so while we're here, don't just look at this as building a masjid, building brick and mortar, but look at it as building, inshaAllah ta'ala, the future of our ummah. Let's unite as one community, strengthen our bonds, and build a future together. Help us establish our first ground up masjid that will be a safe space for our youth, our future, laying the foundation of generations, inshallah.